Hello friends and welcome back. Today's topic for discussion is cloud access management. So without wasting any time, grab a notepad and let's begin. Moving to the cloud has countless advantages from fostering collaboration to allowing employees to work from almost anywhere in the world. But switching to a cloud-based service can carry a fair amount of risk. Oftentimes due to human error, Wise Labs, a company that specializes in low-cost smart home products, experienced this firsthand. An almost prolific breach in 2019 occurred at the startup when an employee built a database for user analytics only to accidentally remove the necessary security protocol. As a result, a database worth of customers' personal information was exposed. What you need to know Managing permissions for your organization has become increasingly important in order to avoid a cloud-based breach, lax or non-existent security, and in this case, incorrectly configured security controls. Can easily jeopardize the security of your data, exposing your organization to an unnecessary amount of risk, including significant damage to brand reputation. How the attack happens this type of attack usually happens because of poor communication, lack of protocol, insecure default configuration, and poor documentation. Once the attacker exploits the vulnerability and gains a foothold in your cloud environment, they can leverage privileges to access other remote entry points, looking for insecure applications and databases, or weak network controls. They can then exfiltrate your data while remaining undetected. Where the attack comes from? Mismanagement and misconfiguration of a cloud environment isn't considered a malicious act in and of itself, and as mentioned, typically occurs due to mere human error. So that is all we have for today. I hope you found this video insightful. Please share it with your friends and subscribe for more such amazing content. Don't forget to check out similar interesting videos on my channel. Thank you. Bye. See you soon.